Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a new vlog here in Tenerife. We're in La Caleta in Costa Radecki, to be precise, and we are just outside the Royal Hideaway Corella Suites Hotel, a beautiful, beautiful resort. Always wanted to come and stay here, not quite yet. However, we have been kindly invited down for me to show you a pop-up that is coming up over the next couple of weeks from a three-star Michelin chef all to do with ice creams, pastries. Now, if any of you know me on the channel, you know I love ice cream, cakes, desserts. So this is right up my street. This is a special pop-up for the next few weeks. We've got a bit of a presentation we're gonna be going to. We're gonna be trying out some of those ice creams and desserts. And if you are interested, you can come down and try them as well. So uh, they've invited me down to be part of the sort of announcement. So all of you can come down and give it a try. This is a gorgeous resort. It is in a lovely location as well, just by uh, La Caleta. So it's actually a nice walk around area. We go live here quite often. I have done a little live stream in there before as well. It's a phenomenal resort. Uh, very, very nice. But looking forward to this three-star Michelin chef coming up with all these different desserts and things. I am excited. I'm going to get myself in, uh, come straight down uh, from work. I'm very, very excited. As you can tell, sweets, ice creams, desserts, you name it. That is right up my street. Let's head on inside, check out what's going on and see if you want to pop down and give some of these desserts a try. I'm sure you will. A three-star Michelin chef ain't going to go wrong, is he? Okay, so here we are then. We're just going to be heading on in the Corrales Suites Royal Hideaway. Really, really lovely resort. It's very unique. A lot of people say it looks a bit like a cruise ship. And uh, they've got two sides to the hotel. You've got an adults only side and you have got uh, the family side further down that way. But, uh, let's see where we're going. Let's find out. And then I'll let catch up with you. You can see some of the paragliders landing in the distance there. Look at the view that you've got. Just to give you an idea of where we are. Uh, just up here. We've eaten in the restaurant down here before as well. But yeah, we are just, I think, going to be in this section here. But yeah, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. It's a beautiful day here today. You've even got some people doing a bit of surfing and bodyboarding down there. Gorgeous day. Perfect day for some ice cream. Okay, so here we are, everyone. This is the two-week pop-up here at the ice cream shop as part of the hotel. Now, you have got some very special guests from Barcelona. So this is very famous brand over in Spain, Rocambolesque. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Very, very famous brand. And this is all set up by a three-star Michelin chef. And the, I cannot wait to try some of these ice creams. Look phenomenal. I uh, have just been given a lovely little um, thing of fizz. But yeah, some very uh, popular and famous um, Spanish uh, chefs and, and people here at the event tonight. But this is, anyone's allowed to come in here. You can come and try some of these ice creams that we're going to give a go. This is here for two weeks only. So get yourself down and give it a try. I think this is going to be phenomenal. It's always open this, but this is a special two-week pop-up. They are obsessed with gastronomy, this hotel. They've got two-star Michelin chefs in the main restaurant. We've dined in the restaurant further down in the Italian before. They love their gastronomy, their food, and this is a very special event for them, popping up for just two weeks. So definitely uh, make a plan if you're around this area to come and give them a try. They look amazing. I'm going to show you some of the ice creams and stuff in a minute. I'm just waiting to see uh, the little presentation and things, but I think this is, you know, my perfect, anyone who watches the channel will know this is my ideal. This is absolutely perfect. It's currently sunset hour, it's half past six, and uh, we're gonna be eating ice cream. This is right up my street. I am excited for this one. Okay, everyone, so we've just had a lovely presentation there, just explaining all of the specialities of uh, the brand, how they pride themselves and uh, various different information, how they keep the ice, even right down to how they keep the ice cream cold, etc., etc. So they've just given me this sample to try. This is caramel ice cream with candy floss on the top. It looks phenomenal, doesn't it? So this is only here for two weeks. You've got until the end of April to get down here 
and give some of these a try. It looks phenomenal. There's some little biscuit things in there I want to buy afterwards as well. But uh, this is included. I'm going to give this a go. It looks amazing. And uh, they've got another one in there, which was like got lime rocks, which you can have on the ice cream. I love lime, key lime pie, things like that. So I'm, uh, I'm in heaven here, guys. Look at the view I've got as well. Stunning. Right, let's dig in and give this a go. Right, so the candy floss is gone. That went down in one go. This is possibly the smoothest ice cream I've ever had in my life. It is, I can't even explain how smooth it is. Very, very smooth. The flavour on top is gorgeous as well. But it's the ice cream itself. My dad would be in heaven. He loves soft serve ice cream. He missed out by it. He went home a few days ago. It is so smooth. What a, what a great little event for me. I'm in heaven. Absolute heaven. It's like a sweet caramel. Not salty caramel. But it's just so smooth. I don't know if you can see that. It just melts in your mouth. But even with the temperature out here, it's keeping it's keeping it holding its own. It's not melting very quickly. It's nice. I'm in trouble here. Good news is, I didn't have dinner before I came, so I can fill up on ice cream. Mm. I'm not even joking. That is genuinely, I think, the most smooth ice cream I've ever had in my life. I mean, all ice cream smooth, but that's like, it's almost got the texture of like, how can I explain it? Like marshmallow fluff, but it's, it's ice cream, it's gorgeous. Right, bring on the next flavour. I'm quids in here, guys. Mm. Bowl one done. That was lovely. Mm. I don't normally do candy floss either, but... That did add a little bit to it at the start. I didn't film myself eating that. We'll wait for the next one to come out. They've got some chocolatey ones, some fruity ones. I'm interested to try that Lime Rocks one, if we can. But yeah, very special brand. Two weeks here only, and then it goes back to its usual. It is always a little ice cream shop and stuff here, but in term, terms of uh, Rock and Balesque, do your research. They are phenomenal. And a massive reputation here in Spain, so. You can uh, come and say that you've given one a go. Well, I'm ready for this, ready ready for the next one. <laughs> I'm bad on I? Ice cream, desserts, you name it, I'm quids in. Okay, so I've come up now, I'm gonna order my own. I'm gonna pick something different. This gentleman in front of me is getting some lovely chocolate and strawberries on there. I'm interested to try that lime rock. I might get lime rock and chocolate maybe. The chocolate looks incredible as well. I wouldn't mind trying some of the chocolate. We've got chocolate with biscuits in, white chocolate there as well. This is the one that we've just had, this one here. So this had sweet milk caramel. Like I said, it wasn't too sweet. A bit of guava jam, I didn't notice that. So guava jam in there as well. It was nice that, I enjoyed that. So I'm gonna possibly build my own now, I think, if I can. These things look amazing as well. Chocolate and caramel. They look really good, they're in the bags just there at the back. It's a tough choice everyone, I don't know what to go for. I'll go for like that, look at that, that looks really good. Right, I think I'm going to go for chocolate and caramel. But I do want to try the lime rock as well though. Oh, that's the lime rock just there. Right, let's give it a whirl, let's go for it. Okay everyone, so I've just been and got myself one of these, look at this now, right. So it is yoghurt based ice cream, that's probably why it was so smooth. I've got the lime rocks, I've got caramel, and I've got chocolate on it. I've got three toppings on it. Crazy, aren't I? It looks amazing, though. And then I've got, I bought some of these to try as well. So all this came to 14 euros. So it is obviously a high-end brand, but they look amazing, don't they? Chocolate and caramel in there. Oh, I'm going to be trying one of them. But yeah, look at that. Had to get one to try. Had to be done. And they did give me a nice little uh, bag of gifts as well. In here is... Uh, some of these things which look like tiny little mini apples little mini apple I don't know whether they're sweets or actual apples and I've also got we just reach in to the goodie bag where are we I've lost them here we go some of these little orange sweets they look amazing as well right up my uh, street right I'm gonna dig into this look at that how hot it is and it's still lasting right let's give this a try everyone okay everyone right Let's try one of these lime rocks. Mm. 
they're good. Very good. Mm. They're not blow your head off lime. They've got a really nice lime undertone. Not sour. Just a nice lime flavour. Oh, the chocolate's nice as well. It's always going to be. Reminds me a little bit of uh, the Cadbury's chocolate you get on a McFlurry, that. Mmm, really crunchy. That's nice. I'm going to have another lime rock. They look like they've got the texture of one of the little volcanic rocks. Try the lime box, 100%. Lime box 100. Chocolate's nice as well. But those lime box are really different. Really different. You don't see them in any ice cream shop. Very nice though. The caramel as well, with it being sweet, not salted. I'm in heaven here, aren't I? Absolute heaven. Who invites Night Strider to his dessert party? <laughs> mm. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, I'll catch you when I've finished it, and then we're gonna try some of these. In fact, let's try one of these now. Let's give one of these a go. So I did buy these, we, these were not given to me. I couldn't resist. Look at them. With the stuff in the middle. They're naughty them. Oh yeah. They are naughty. Oh my word. They're like... Oh, I can't even explain it. Tastes a bit like bueno, with a slight hint of caramel to it. Very Kinder Bueno-ish then. Like a caramel Kinder Bueno. They're nice. They're possibly my favorite out of everything. It's all been amazing, but they are something else then. Wow. Chocolate with milk and caramel. Oof, tell you what. Mm. I'm in heaven. Catch you in a few hours. Well, I really do highly recommend it. I was invited down, but I ended up buying an ice cream, a bag of those treats as well, and they are absolutely delicious. So, uh, well worth coming down. You can actually walk all the way here from Los Cristianos, Las Americas, Costa Rodeque. You can walk all the way along the coast. It is a gorgeous walk. I call it a mega walk. And then when you get to the end here, you've got a delicious ice cream to treat yourself with as well. A beautiful resort, this one. If you've stayed here before, let me know. You can watch the paragliders landing. We've got views right up into the national park behind us. And look at all this free parking right outside as well. Always park here, dead easy. No matter what time of day, if I'm coming into La Caleta. But really nice, I'm actually gonna take you now for a little walk around some of the hotel grounds. Let's have a little wander around the hotel while we're here. And uh, you never know, potentially, if you let them know in the comments that you want to see a full hotel tour with a room tour, if I can show them enough comments, they might let us in to do a room tour and a hotel tour. So get commenting down below that you'd love to see a tour of this resort, the rooms, the facilities. But for now, I'm going to show you a little bit around the ground, see what we've got going on. But yeah, let them know in the comments. I'll email them and we'll see if we can get in and see some of the rooms in this resort because it is spectacular in here. Okay, everyone. So here is a little taster of the reception. Then have a look at this. Almost built down underground with all the rock formations. You've got a really cool bridge going across the walkways. And look at that, even some projections on the side of the rocks. That actually reminds me of something you'd see in that Disney World theming wise. Unbelievable. Look at that for a welcome to go and check in. Look at that. It's just stunning, isn't it? So you're going to walk over the water. You've got all the stones engraved there as well. 
just amazing. I love to do a proper full tour of this. Look at that. Just going to check in here with that wall behind you. Wow. Unbelievable. It's just phenomenal that. Imagine checking in there. Absolutely unreal. And this is adults only, but you have got the family section as well on the other side. You can have a look at the Instagram and the Facebook there as well if you want to. And check them out. I'm going to have a little walk around actually. I love that though. Look at that, the projection. So cool that. So this is actually one of the walkways to some of the rooms. Look at it, you're walking along rock formations. And I've got to say, it's really cool down here as well, temperature-wise. I mean, it's cool to look at, but temperature-wise as well. Look at it all with the rock everywhere. Really cool to see. I'm gonna head up now and head to the swimming pool and show you the pool area. But how good would a full tour of this place be? It's just unreal in here. Do get commenting away guys not only regarding the ice cream which was beautiful but how cool would a tour be in here it would be amazing i'm heading up to the pool area here now i've had a glimpse of this before and let me tell you it is gorgeous have a look at this everyone look at that wow Talk about some views, aesthetics. There's some of the rooms up there. How nice must they be with the view that they've got? All the volcanic rock around. Watching the paragliders land. Just look at it. Look at the pads on the sunbeds with the pillow as well. Fall asleep on them, couldn't you? Wow, and then look at this. Little plunge massage pool here. So you can massage your shoulders in there. Look at that. It's got like little seats in, so you've got all different water jets and stuff. Oh, hey. Eh? This would be phenomenal to do at all. And then here is the main pool. Look at those day beds as well. And chill on them. Almost like you're floating in the water. You've got your own private little steps down into the main pool. Incredible gotta say this is one that I would really love to stay in and I would love to at least do a tour for you all obviously it's not going to be the cheapest but if you're looking for something special there's your little sort of hot tub here I love the way they're all sort of infinity aren't they they're all it's like a hot tub or a splash pool is that like a little walk through splash pool you got a little evening restaurant bar area there Wow, and it goes all the way along, look at that. It is a huge resort. But anywhere on this front side, you've got some spectacular views. Okay, so before we go, I've just come down from the reception. I wanna quickly show you the restaurant we've been in before on the channel. This one here, the Italian. Now, any of you are welcome to come in here Il Boccaccino, I think it's called. And it's a Michelin star 2023. There's a, so up there to the left would be the ice cream place. You can come down here and enjoy the restaurant through here. Hi, yeah, you okay? This is a lovely man has been serving the carver all night. Here's a little look then at where you would be eating breakfast and dinner and things in here. Hello, Hello you okay? Everything, very welcome. I'm just quickly showing them the restaurants. I've oh, eaten in here fantastic. before, I just want to show everyone. Fantastic, this is La Trattoria. The other side we have Il Bocconcino, today is closed. Ah, okay, is they this the one that's, is that the one that's open to the public, yeah? Correct, today close Sunday and Monday. Right, okay, good we to are know. We open today, we close Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. The Trattoria is more casual, informal, uh, classic Italian food with pasta, pizza, antipasti, meat nice. and fish. Bocconcino is a little bit more like a Michelin star, yep. good tasting menu, good product. Perfect, so can anyone come into both of them or is it just the Boccaccino that anyone both can? Both of better reservation, yes. Okay, best for a reservation. And this is where like <laughs> breakfast and stuff would be as, as well, well if you were staying here? All that terrace is Olivia, the breakfast of the family. Wow, stunning in here. Thank you very much, thank you. We'll have a little look around, there you go. That gentleman, very helpful with all the info. So here's all the seating out here. Let me just show you through the back here. 
with some gorgeous views with the seating as well. Very comfy seating area. Look at that for a little bar with the wood burners as well. Gorgeous resort, absolutely gorgeous. Now we sat out here for our live stream, I think, out the way with the volcanic rock behind, the views down to the ocean. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So you can come in here and eat if you want to. You don't have to be a hotel guest if you fancy immersing yourself in the hotel. Just up there is the pool area where we've just been. I just wanted to show you because it is very, very nice. If you fancy something different, it is a hotel restaurant. But as I said, they really do pride themselves on the, the gastronomy, the food, the effort they put into it all. I mean, everything is just spe like spectacularly clean and neat. And I don't think I've ever seen a, a hotel so clean. We've been to some five-star resorts and stuff before, but this is gorgeous. Look at this for your coffee machine. I need one of these in work. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one of them in work. Look at that. Pop a Lavazza machine for your coffee in the morning. Imagine eating breakfast here. You've got the day ahead of you. Fill up for the day and then you're off to the beach or Siam Park or exploring the island, Mount Tady. You can have your nice fresh orange juice there. There's all the oranges. Stunning. Absolutely stunning in here. All the different wines. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senor. Have a great evening. Thank you. And all the staff as well, so, so friendly. So this was the other restaurant, closed on a Sunday and uh, Monday. So you would normally go through those doors there, but it is closed on those nights. So bear that in mind. Look at that, even the banana trees just planted around the resort. I can actually, I can actually smell them a little bit. I really can. There's a bit of a smell to that. Wow, stunning, just stunning. Okay, everyone, so there we go. That was Rockambolesque. It's here until the 28th of April. You've got to be fast. Gorgeous ice cream. Love the resort. Wandering around. Gorgeous place to sit and well with night as well with nice views. Uh, so do check it out. If you've stayed here before, let me know. But please do get commenting. I want to do a full tour of this hotel. I want to show you the rooms, even if it's just out of interest. Try and get me in there. So get commenting. You want to see a tour of this. And I will send it to the managers. We'll see if we can get ourselves in and do a full tour, but absolutely spectacular. Big thank you to them for inviting us down as well. Getting to show you every, uh, show you something different. You know, proper Michelin star dessert ice cream. Very reasonably priced for what you're getting as well. Proper quality. Everyone was excited. Everyone was loving it. So a uh, big thank you to them for inviting us down. If you don't follow me already, make sure you follow me on TikTok. I'm also on TikTok as well, the Night Strider one. Uh, we've got Instagram, the underscore Night Strider. And we've also got uh, the Tenerife fan group with over 17,000 members. So uh, the Night Strider Tenerife fan group, get yourself in there. Very friendly group, uh, full of information here on Tenerife. For now, I'm going to head home and uh, get this edited and up for you all so you can come and enjoy an ice cream. Gorgeous day here, spectacular ice cream. I'm full to the brim. I'm feeling good. You know I love a dessert. Uh, let me know what flavour you would have gone for as well. But thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe and stride on. Come and enjoy some lovely ice cream.